Hello, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. Uh, today is Tuesday and today is coloring uh, related video day. So um, unfortunately I do not have time between now, well I'm recording this on Monday so I don't have time between now and Tuesday to actually sit down and do um, a coloring video but I do have a coloring page that I want to actually do with markers. Um, I'll go over this in a minute, but I want to color a page out of Fairies in Dreamland, and I want to do, which page was that? Uh, this page with the little piggy on it. Um, I want to use my big Intensity markers on this. I just don't have time to sit and do this, and if I start it, I want to finish it with you guys on a color and chat. So, um, I'm hoping to do this for next week although next week I think is Christmas we'll see anyway this is the next thing I'm gonna call her in chat so but um, I had mentioned this before and I actually forgot about it I have never done a flip through of color morphia by Kirby Rosanis and all of you who've known me and followed my channel for a while you know that Kirby is one of my favorite favorite artists and I have all of his books and except for the most recent one, which got really bad reviews, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, he does have a new book coming out in March of 2020, uh, World Within Worlds. I'm really looking forward to that one. It'll be some new artwork from him. Um, very excited for that one, so fingers crossed. But I have never shown any of you Color Morphia, and this is an awesome book. This is a book that is a compilation of his works from all of his other Morphia books. Um, and in the beginning of this book, he's included some of, um, some colorists that, you know, colored some of his pages. Um, he included some of their works in the beginning of this book. So I think that's a fantastic idea. I wish more artists would do that. Um, and, and it's his way of, of showing appreciation for, uh, those of us colors that actually, you know, spend a lot of time and effort coloring out of his coloring books. So, uh, great idea. Kudos to Kirby for doing that. So anyway, this is Color Morphia. It has been out for a while and I'm sure a lot of you have seen it, but I wanted to go ahead and flip through it, um, from beginning to end. So everybody has a chance to see all of the pages. So, um, it's, it's just like all of his other Morphia books. It's a nice thick, um, paper cover. Uh, so that is, this is actually one that a, um, a colorist colored and he gives credit to everyone. Um, he says who did it. I mean, look at that. Sorry for the glare. Isn't that awesome? I mean, this, this had to have taken forever <laughs> to do, but yeah, this is, uh, this is, a uh, from a, a colorist. Um, yeah, Beetle on the previous page, colored by Marcella Lasikova. Um, Kong on this page is colored by Sari uh, Hankanimi. I'm, I know I'm butchering those names. I'm so sorry. But isn't that just awesome? Amazing. So, look at this. Look at the bear. Oh, my gosh. Again, I am so sorry for the glare. Let me try to move that out of the way. There we go. Isn't that cool? Wow. Just wow. And what I love about this is like you can see all of the imperfections in, in the page, um, which I think is great. I mean, it's not perfect and you can see, you know, the shading and you can see, you know, white space in there. I mean, it's just, it's just cool. I think it's just so neat that he included uh, people's artwork, um, excuse me, coloring work in here um so yeah so he tells tells backgrounds of um how the images were colored uh who they colored them by you know the colorist um why he likes what they've done and like you know it, it's just it's great it's great i'm not going to read all of that because that that'd be really boring but isn't this beautiful uh this one was done by marjorie repillier uh, with, with blending techniques, he talks about that, uh, blending, graduating from dark to lighter tones. So 
really, really cool. Really cool. Check that out. The swan page. Now I've done this page in, um, Imagimorphia and I completely, completely butchered it. Um, it was when I had just started coloring and, um, I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, I had fun doing the page. It just, a lot of Kirby's work takes a long time to do it, but it is fun. It's interesting, uh, artwork to color, but isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. And I like how they added their own constellations up here. Like, I mean, that's just so cool. Very cool. Look at that. And then you've got Egyptian explosion. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So if any of you do not have a Kirby book, I would highly recommend out of all of his books to get this one because it includes, you know, images from all of his Morphia books. Um, I've also, I'm pretty much almost done with this page. I've done this page. This is not me, obviously. This is another colorist, but um, isn't that just beautiful? So, yeah. Look at that. Yep. Wow. Flowering Skull by Lisa Brothwood. Yeah, I was looking to see if it tells you what the background was. No, he just says the background has been completely blacked out with not a pencil stroke to be seen. So it was probably done with some kind of paint, probably acrylic paint, maybe. I have no idea, but I, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, and then the clockwork cat. Yeah, I'm actually working on this one in Phantomorphia. Um, I've gotten, I'd say about halfway through it. So, very, very pretty. So anyway, I'm going to flip through the book for you. Um, all of the pages, they are not single-sided, unfortunately. Um, so you have to be careful if you use um, anything other than pencil or fine liners that it doesn't go through. Um, I would not recommend using anything other than colored pencil. Um, I have not had good luck with that, uh, but that's just my personal opinion. All right, so there's the cat. And you got a page of beetles. Uh, I've actually done this page. Uh, I'm going to have to flip through. Um, most of them I've done out of Imagimorphia, and I'm hoping to have Imagimorphia finished in 2020. That's one of my goals, is to have uh, that book finished. Yep. I've done this page as well. I have not done this page. Um, I'm intimidated by anything with metal in it, just because I don't, I'm not sure, um, you know how to color metal. There's the tiger. Uh, yeah, this one's from Mythomorphia. The other one, the tiger was from Anamorphia. This one is from, I wanna say Phantomorphia. No, no, Mythomorphia, Mythomorphia. I think it's Mythomorphia. It's hard to get all the Morphias right. So, uh, the spider's from Imagimorphia. This one's from Phantomorphia, the koi fish. Very pretty. This is the rhino. This one's from um, Anamorphia. <laughs> started this one too. I did like a, I think I did a, a watercolor pencil base so far on the Rhino. I have no problem doing this part of it. It's, it's when you get to this part, like all the little doodles, it's just very time consuming. <laughs> oh, the dreaded butterfly. If any of you have known me for a while, you know that I, I messed this page up. Um, I think I've got some videos 
still public on that on my channel but I used an acrylic wash across the butterfly and I didn't thin out the acrylic wash enough so the acrylic paint on this side covered up too many of the black lines so you couldn't see the detail of the butterfly so I was trying to fix it so I had to go back over with uh, a really ultra fine permanent marker to try and show those lines again and I just totally totally effed it up to be honest with you so I'm glad that I have this book because I do want to try and redo that image um, using the same colors just probably not an acrylic paint wash <laughs> but this is this is an awesome awesome image right there that's from Imagimorphia by the way uh, both of these are from Imagimorphia we've got the Egyptian page and then the skull This one's from Anamorphia. These are two deer. This one's also from Anamorphia. It's the bear. Um, this one is from Phantomorphia, I think. Right. Um, and I, I've been working on this one. I'm using, um, what am I using on this one? I can't remember. Uh, I think I'm using, um, uh, super colors, Karen Dosh super colors with a, um, with a Tombow blender pen. Yeah. So yeah, I'm using this Tombow uh, just clear blender pen instead of using water because the water really buckles the page. Um, blender pens work great to um, to do that. No, I take that back. I am so sorry. I am using um, Faber Castell Albert Durer uh, watercolor pencils on this with the blending pen. So yeah, this is still a work in progress. <laughs> Um, this one is from Phantomorphia, the Hourglass. This one is from Anamorphia, the Whale. Love this image. It's just so much detail. Uh, Dee Dee Willingham has done this um, two-page spread, and it's gorgeous. So if y'all don't know her, check her out on YouTube. She's She's been around for a long time and she's a very talented, very talented artist. She does her own, um, her own sketches and drawings and she does commission work. So anyway, um, she's wonderful and she's done this page. I watched her do this page. It's great. Okay. This one is from Geomorphia, the elephant with the tree trunk pretty sure it's Geomorphia. Uh, this one is from um, Mythomorphia, Medusa. I'm also working on this one. I'm probably halfway done with this one. I'm going to have to like do a video of a flip through of all the ones I've done or that I'm working on all the whips I have. Uh, this one is from Mythomorphia. Okay, this one, I'm pretty sure this one's from Phantomorphia, although you don't get the whole woof. You only get this page of it in Phantomorphia, so it's very cool that you get the whole, one, the whole image in this book. Very, very cool image. Okay. I'm trying to remember. I uh, I think this one's Geomorphia. Pretty sure it's Geomorphia on the octopus. This one is um, Mythomorphia. I think. <laughs> Don't quote me to any of these. I haven't. 
I'm not sure. There's so many Morphia books. Sometimes I get confused with these. Uh, this one I think is Mythomorphia as well. It's a two-page underwater spread. Very awesome. Very detailed. This one's Mythomorphia. Big, huge dragon. With the Chinese lanterns. Right, I know the balloons here are from Imagimorphia, and in Imagimorphia, it's a two-page spread of the balloons. So in Color Morphia, it's just one page, which is nice, because that way, if you only want to do one page, there you go. Uh, the Raven is in Phantomorphia. Pretty sure Phantomorphia. All right, this one is in Imagimorphia. This is the Hawk. Or the eagle, however you want to look at it. I look at it as a hawk. I don't know why I've always pictured doing this one as a brown hawk. That whole bunch of detail going across there. This is Mythomorphia. Or from Mythomorphia. I really like Mythomorphia because the images in Mythomorphia are not as detailed as some of his earlier works. Okay, this one is from Geomorphia, the Whirlpool. And this one, pretty sure this is from Mythomorphia. This one is Imagimorphia, the two jellyfish. This is from Imagimorphia, this is the fox. I've done probably about this much over on this page in Imagimorphia. Okay, now both of these pages, they're individual pages, you know, that's its own page and that's its own page. These are both from Anamorphia, but these are two page spreads in Anamorphia. So there's two page, two page spread of the um, chameleons and then a two page spread of the two cons. You can, however you pronounce that. So, very cool. This one is from Imagimorphia. Lots of rabbits. There's the swans. Two page spread of swans. The way I did mine, and I'll, I'll show you guys eventually, but I did a black gel pen, sparkle gel pen on one, and a silver gel pen on the other. And I ha I'm, no joke, just to do this part and through all of the feathers, I went through two and a half gel pens for each swan. Um, and it was a good thing I had the same colored gel pen. I had extras of the same colored gel pen. But yeah, it took a lot. Okay, uh, this one of the elephant with the gears and the ears, that is in Imagimorphia. I've completed that one. This one is in, I want to say Geomorphia. Pretty sure this one is Geomorphia. This is Geomorphia. This is nice because in, in Geomorphia, you only get this page. You do not get any of this page. So it's nice in this book that you get a two-page spread of the whole image. Very nice. And you can do a lot with this page. Um, and you can add in your own touches, you know, above the water, in the water. Okay, this one, I'm trying to remember which book this is from. Is this one Imagimorphia? I can't remember. That's horrible of me. I think it's Imagimorphia. I, I can't remember because he has one that's just a horse and then one that's got the unicorn. So 
can't remember. Don't hold, don't, don't judge me. <laughs> okay, this is from Anamorphia. This also was a two page spread. It had another fish on the other side. I've done this page. Uh, the beetle is from Imagimorphia. Uh, the butterfly is from Phantomorphia. This one, hmm, I think it's Imagimorphia. I think. Okay, this one I know is from Mythomorphia. Two page spread of the fox with the, with the tail. The owls, these are from uh, Anamorphia. Isn't that awesome? I love owls, they're such awesome animals, birds. And the gorilla, this is from Imagimorphia. I also have done this page. Um, this one was fun to work on because there wasn't, there wasn't all the teeny little doodles in there. Um, so I had, I had fun working with this one. This is from Anamorphia. Um, I've also, I've got a whip of this one as well. I've gotten to probably here on the um, leopard. So it's like I get to here and then I look at this page and I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> Um, okay, and that's the last page in it. So, uh, these are all his books um, that you could get Anamorphia, Imagimorphia, Mythomorphia, Phantomorphia, and Geomorphia. Um, but again, like I said, um, my personal favorite out of all of them is Mythomorphia and Imagimorphia. Those are my two favorite. But if I had never had a Kirby book before, I would get this one because it has, you know, samples of all of them in it. So, um, yeah, this is an excellent book from Kirby Rosanis. I highly recommend it. I'm so sorry that I did not show it when I got it. I've had it since it came out. Um, and for some reason, I just never showed it on video. So my apologies. <laughs> but one of my favorite, favorite artists, wonderful book. Look forward to his new book, World of Within Worlds coming out in March of 2020. Um, I'll have the link down below for this book. I'll also have the link down below if you want to pre-order his new book. Um, you can get both of them on Amazon. So again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again on Thursday for a diamond painting unboxing. Got quite a few. So everybody have a lovely Tuesday and I will see you again on Thursday.